Okay, I think we're all set. Thank you for joining me. My name is Kate Keither and I'm the founder of Simple Essentials by Kate. And I'm really excited to start with our six part series of online webinar classes for you. Today we're going to talk about uh, the basics of essential oils. So a lot of you are um, customers and you've been in it for a while, but it's a lot of information in the beginning and I know that it can get a little bit overwhelming and some of the bits of information are kind of lost over, you know, over time. So whether you've been doing this for a while or you're brand new to essential oils, I'm really glad you decided to tune in with me today and hopefully you'll get something out of it and learn something new. So I'm going to pull up my screen real quick. Okay, so I want to start with what actually are essential oils. It's kind of become a mainstream um, thing to say, and some people know what they are or know of them, but they're not quite sure um, how what what they actually are. So essential oils are powerful aromatic compounds that are found in seeds, bark, stems, roots flowers, and other parts of plants, and they're extracted and distilled for a variety of health benefits. So why, why essential oils? Why are people starting to use them? Why are they becoming so popular? Well, when you have something that nature produces, our body welcomes it, receives it. Um, our body knows how to utilize the essential oil whether it's for calming, stomach issues, headaches, pain, you name it, our bodies are gonna say, okay, this is something that I recognize and I, I'm going to process it. It's also extremely cost-effective. People see this little bottle and they think, okay, well, that seems a little bit out of my price range, but if you actually break down the cost, really one drop is pennies compared to going to the doctor doing something over the counter it is extremely cost effective you can make your own products and these bottles last about six months to a year depending on um, what you're using it for there's also no side effects and this is something that um, I think is so important because you go to the doctor and you you have an ailment, you get a medication prescribed to you, but then there's this laundry list of side effects. And then sometimes you have to get another medication because of one of the side effects that is happening to you. With essential oils, there's only side benefits is what we like to call it. So um, let's say you're using lemon essential oil and it's really helping with your winter blues. It um, really uplifts your mood. You can also clean with it. So that's why we call it side benefits because you might be using it for one specific reason, but there's gonna be about 10 other reasons you can use it for as well um, that you didn't really know about. So I wanna talk a little bit now about my story, why I got, a, got started with essential oils. Some of you know this, some of you don't. Um, we started with doTERRA about five years ago and I had, my daughter was almost one year old and I was really struggling with postpartum depression and anxiety at the time, although I didn't really know it. Um, I was, kind of secluded. I didn't have a lot of friends. We were in a newer town and I it just felt very isolated and depressed and anxious. And I had a lot of intrusive thoughts and something was pulling me to uh, attend a class that I saw on Facebook. And long story short, I ended up going, which was kind of out of the ordinary for me but something was pulling me to go to this class and learn about essential oils. And I just remember she kept talking about how it could help with pain, with your stomach issues, with sleep, with anxiety. And I was blown away and absolutely intrigued. And I ended up purchasing a kit and I immersed myself in 
getting as much knowledge as I could. I bought a book and I was just reading about all the things. And every time I was reading something, I would get so um, excited and emotional because I was like, I, I have at least 20 people that I know of that could benefit from essential oils. And so I started talking to people about them, recommending things. I started having classes, asking people if they wanted to have classes. And I would teach what I knew, even though it's just the basics. Um, and it just kind of grew from there. And our passion just kept growing and um, our team kept growing. And, and now here we are almost five years later. So um, that, that's kind of my story in a very quick, quick nutshell. Um, so essential oils, like I mentioned before, has become a bit more mainstream. And five years ago, people kind of looked at me sideways when I would mention things, but now everyone either has used them or has heard of them. So this is a good and a, a bad thing. The bad part about it is that because they are not regulated by the government, anyone can say that essential oils, that their essential oils are 100% pure. But basically you're just diffusing a fragrance, a synthetic version of a pure essential oil, which is, is not going to give you the therapeutic benefit that, that you're looking for. And really it's, you're wasting your money. So doTERRA decided that there needed to be, uh, there was a need for a higher standard in the essential oil world. Uh, they needed to be 100% essential oils that were not synthetic, not diluted. They were well tested and um, were a combination of all of those things. And to get rid of that myth that essential oils are ineffective, because of course, if you're going to buy a lemon from Target, I love Target, but their, their lemon essential oil is not the same as doTERRA's lemon essential oil. So what makes this different? So because there's no regulation, doTERRA set a standard for the company and that is certified pure ther therapeutic grade essential oils or CPTG. So what, is what does that mean? Certified pure means that doTERRA's essential oils are the most tested essential oils out there. And this is not just me saying that because I love the company and I want you to go with me, but if you go through the actual testing process that doTERRA does, you'll see that they do actually um, test our essential oils from start to finish more than any other company. Every single bottle and batch is free of fillers, synthetics, and contaminants. So this means when you're putting it directly on your skin or ingesting it or just diffusing it into the air, you're gonna know that you're getting 100% pure oil. They're also therapeutic grade. So that means they are the most trusted. We are now over 8 million um, wholesale customers right now. Um, we are now the top com company in the world and we are guaranteed to meet the strict therapeutic grade standards every single time. doTERRA is not going to put something on the shelf or out in there for our community to purchase if they do not require the, the standards of the company. So one thing that I don't think people realize is that um, some companies are really good, but they have a 97% um, pure rating. So that if they hit 97%, then they'll still sell it. So Terra has to be 100% all the time. The next part I want to talk to you about is co-impact sourcing. And this is really the, the heart of doTERRA. Um, this is something that sets us apart, I feel, and something that I'm extremely proud of to be part of. And um, our plants are grown around the world in the ideal habitat for maximum therapeutic benefits. So we're from Wisconsin, right? Our lavender grows here. It can grow here. However, our lavender is not going to be the same quality than if you grew the lavender in Bulgaria. It, it's just not. The soil is different. The, the, um, the weather is different. It's just not going to be the same quality. Um, so this, this is why doTERRA makes sure that we are growing. We are partnering with farmers that are growing their plants, their trees, their fruits um, in the ideal 
ideal climate and and place basically um, the the one thing that i absolutely love about the co-impact sourcing one of the many things i should say is that we're providing livelihoods for families with fair on-time payments and a consistent source of income so the kind of the dark side of essential oils is that there's a lot of middle middlemen there's a lot of brokers involved in this process so that means farmers were not getting paid consistently, they weren't getting fair wages, and they weren't getting paid on time. So these multi-generational farmer families, farm families, were, were barely hanging on. doTERRA went in there and made sure that they were harvesting correctly and um, doTERRA sources correctly. And we're going in educating, we're helping build um, immaculate facilities for these farmers to do what they need to do to get the, the most pure essential oil. But we're also going in through, because of our Healing Hands Foundation, we're going in and putting in water systems, um, like in Haiti where we source our vetiver so that the, the children can actually go to school instead of having to walk hours upon hours to, to get water for their families and it's not even clean water so doTERRA is putting in the water systems we're building schools we're building medical facilities um, we're putting in sanitation something we take for granted every single day is a flushing toilet so they're going in and um, empowering these small very rural towns and giving women and child, women and their families jobs and creating opportunities for the women and the, the children. Um, okay, so how do we use essential oils? So there's, there's three main ways, um, and this is, you know, sim simple ways, and don't overthink when you're using your essential oils. So one of the easiest way, uh, ways is just to open the bottle. Take a deep inhale, and just really let it get into your system, go through your olfactory system, and you're, you're gonna either trigger a memory, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna open up your airways. So that is aromatic. Essential oils are always aromatic, but smelling directly from the bottle or using a diffuser. I don't know if you can see mine in the back, um, but it's gonna, when you're diffusing or inhaling, it's going to positively affect your mood, it's going to cleanse the air and support the respiratory system. You can also use essential oils topically. I do recommend using some sort of carrier oil. So that means um, coconut oil, hemp seed oil, grapeseed oil, whatever you prefer. And that's going to carry the essential oil further. So if you're using one drop of essential oil, because they are aromatic compounds, it's going to evaporate quickly. So when you're using a carrier oil, it's going to absorb into your skin and it's going to stay in your system longer. It's also going to protect your skin in case there is a sensitivity to the essential oil. And so it's just a really great way to use, especially with um, children, pregnant women, and the elderly, anyone with sensitive skin. So when you're using it topically, you're gonna to think of localized benefits. So for instance, if you have a knee injury or a stomach issue or a headache, you're going to want to use the essential oil directly on that spot on, on your skin. You can also take the essential oils internally. I recommend getting empty veggie capsules and putting uh, one or two drops of essential oil, fill it with some olive oil or anything that you can, um, that you can take internally and just close the capsule, take it with water and then be on your way. Um, I do also recommend certain oils like frankincense or copaiba, one drop underneath your tongue. Um, some people do take essential oils in their water. I don't recommend doing this as a daily habit or doing it to flavor your water. However, if you are having a stomach ache, you can put a drop of peppermint. Today I was feeling a little bit um, puffy and bloated so because of what we ate last night. So I put two drops of Slim and Sassy in my water and took a drink, and then I made sure to eat something after. Um, I did put a drop of lemon in my smoothie, and that just to help kind of cleanse everything um, and work, work everything through my system. 
and then also to help with that bloating and that, that puffy feeling that I have. Okay, so essential oils um, are different than herbs. They contain hundreds of compounds to tackle a variety of challenges. Um, they are 50 to 70 times more powerful than herbs. So one drop of peppermint is about 25 cups of peppermint tea. Um, peppermint, I wish you guys could, could smell this right now. Um, but it cools the body, it's naturally energizing, it's great for the digestive system, great for headaches. Um, it's, it's just one of those that we always want to have. The next one I wanna talk about is, is On Guard. So On Guard supports the body on a cellular level to address root issues. So you can diffuse to cl cleanse the air, you can use daily for optimal results. And we use this um, in the diffuser, we mix it with coconut oil, rub it directly on our chest, or we'll rub it on our throat if uh, we feel like we're get, catching something. The great thing about essential oils and why so many people are using them, especially in the winter, um, is because essential oils are antiviral. So, you know, when you go to the doctor and say, I'm not feeling well, and they say, oh, you just have a virus, you just have a cold, go home, drink liquids and rest, and there's not much else you can do. Well, essential oils can actually cross the, the cell membrane. So let's say you have the, the cell membrane and then there's um, the virus inside. The essential oil can actually cross that cell membrane, go in and kill the, the virus. Um, okay, so let's talk about lavender. I have that one with me, yes. I like to have visuals for you guys. So lavender, when you think of this one, you'll think of all things soothing, whether it's um, for sleep, for your skin, you can use lavender um, in the diffuser directly on your skin or internally. This one is great um, for some, those stressful days, but it's also amazing for any sort of allergy issue. So if you get a bug bite or you um, have seasonal allergies, this is going to help calm those, that itchy throat, the scratchy throat, um, any sort of watery eyes uh, because it is a antihistamine. Lemon is one of my favorites. I love the citrus. This is the cleanse and, re and freshen. So this is going to be one that you can diffuse directly on your skin and internally as well. You could do all three with lemon. Um, you can make your own room spray, mix it with some water and spray it in the room. Um, counter spray, if you're one that likes that lemon scent and your cleaning products, you can switch to lemon oil instead of um, like the Clorox lemon scented products um, or just directly inhale from the bottle. It's very refreshing. Frankincense is one of um, our absolute favorites. We call it the king of oils. Um, it really does, um, it, do, it does so many things for our bodies. So it it's, uh, helps support our immune system, it helps support brain function, memory, it helps with our skin, like stretch marks, wrinkles. And this is just one that I tell people, if, if you're going to choose one essential oil, Frankincense is the one that you want to have. It's going to be the kind of, um, I don't want to say end all be all, but it, it's going to kind of do an, uh, an array of different things for, for your body um, over, overall. Okay, um, let's talk about tea tree. So this is um, the one that if you want to think for hair, skin, and nails. So we use this. Um, as like a disinfectant, but it's uh, antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal. It's kind of all, all the things for the skin. Um, we use it in the winter for really dry, flaky scalp, um, eczema. You can put it in your shampoo to help keep the ticks away or, um, and, and the, um, oh, now I'm blanking. The little bugs that go in your hair. Um, Oh my goodness, I'm blanking, but I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. So put this in to keep it away from your kids' hair. Lice, lice, that's what I'm thinking of. Um, so keep this and add it into your um, 
shampoo bottle, make a spray so you can spray into your kids' hair before they go to school. Um, this is just one that we have. This is like our medicine cabinet. Okay, oregano. So this is nature's powerhouse. I don't think most people realize how powerful oregano is. This is like um, antibacterial powerhouse. So if you're not feeling well and you want to just zap whatever you're getting, oregano is your, is your go-to. We mix this one with frankincense, lemon, on guard, and tea tree. So just think of flute, frankincense, lemon, on guard, oregano, and tea tree. So that's an easy way to remember that. That's kind of our flu bomb. We'll put a drop of each of those five in a veggie capsule, fill it with olive oil, and swallow that. That's a great way to keep yourself healthy. Um, oregano is really great for the intestinal tract as well. You just want to make sure that if this is something you're using to help cleanse your gut, that you're also taking a probiotic because not only does it kill all the good, the bad bacteria, it's also going to kill the, all the good bacteria as well. Okay, so the next one is breathe. Let me see if I, okay. So breathe is our respiratory support and we absolutely love this one. You can make um, your own Vicks Vapor Rub. You can rub it directly on your chest, on your neck, around your ears, a little swipe on your nose or on the back of your neck. Uh, we like to diffuse this one. It's really great for um, the dry winter months or snoring. We like to mix this with lavender when we're sleeping. It's just very calming and relaxing, opens up those airways so you get better quality sleep. Okay, the next one is Digest Sun. This is our tummy tamer. This one is all things um, stomach discomfort. So if you're bloated, constipated, diarrhea, um, sour stomach, um, Heartburn, any of those things, digest sun is going to be the one that will help you in that department. So you can take it um, internally, you can put it directly in your stomach, or you can diffuse it as well if you get motion sickness. And we just do a few drops of digest sun with some coconut oil and rub it directly on our stomach. Okay, deep blue, this is muscle and joint support. So this is basically um, are anti-inflammatory in a bottle, and it's really great for um, any aches and pains, tension, inflammation. I use this on my shoulder because I have tendonitis, and this is an amazing essential oil blend, and it also comes in a roller and a lotion version. Okay, so um, I want to talk about a couple other ones. Balance is um, our favorite grounding blend. I put this on before I did this webinar because it just helps you come back down to earth, gets those butterfly feelings out of the way, and just really kind of relaxes you. I like to massage it into my shoulders and into my neck and put it on my chest over my heart to bring to calm me down. Okay. So we have a few more minutes left and I just want to talk to you guys really quick about the foundations of a healthy lifestyle. So um, our current healthcare system is really um, kind of backwards to me. So you go to the doctor, you tell them what your issue is and they basically just write you a script. The doctors are forced to have very quick appointments with you. I think it's like seven minutes a person, which is extremely unfortunate. So that's where we have to come into place, where we have the proactive medical care, informed self-care, but we're also living a healthy lifestyle. So reducing the toxic load by getting candles and, and cleaning products out of your home, making your own products, rest and manage stress. This is where self-care comes in and you are slowing down a little bit. You are saying no to things without feeling guilty. You don't have to do five different activities in one weekend. And believe me, I'm not perfect, but this is something that we are working on, not only for us, but to teach our children. Exercise and weight management, even if it's just going for a walk, or if you are 
going somewhere, take the stairs instead of the elevator or park further away instead of right next to the store. And then eating right, making sure that you are eating the whole foods and reducing the, the preservatives and the, the, the toxic chemical dyes that they put in our foods and eliminating soda and alcohol and caffeine and sugars. Um, we're not perfect, none of us are, but progress over perfection is what I tell myself every single day. I'm not exactly where I want to be right now, but we're, we're working towards it. We've been doing this for five years and we're just, you know, we're doing the best that we can. So the Lifelong Vitality Pack is something that we've incorporated into our day. This is doTERRA's um, supplements. We have Microplex VMC, which is a whole food multivitamin and mineral complex. It's, this helps support a healthy immune function. It has 22 essential vitamins and minerals from whole food sources. We have the Z-Omega, which is omega-369 fatty acids and nine essential oils. This supports mental clarity and brain function, and it also helps support cardiovascular health. Okay, we have the Alpha CRS, which is the third one, and I love this one. I just find it fascinating. This is our antioxidant and cellular energy support. It really helps support our energy production, which I know that we all need that in our, in our crazy culture of on the go, on the go. It also helps support um, healthy cell proliferation and lifespan. Um, so when you're taking tip, what's a few tips for taking the supplements. So start slowly. Consider starting with a quarter or a half dose for a few days as you build up your nutritional support in your body. A full dose is two of each supplements taken twice daily. And we, we, we recommend taking them at breakfast and lunch. And make it a lifestyle. Taking supplements the same time daily creates a ritual alongside meals or something else that is a constant in your life. Keeping them out where you can see them will remind you to take them as opposed to leaving them hidden away in cupboards. We like to keep them next to our coffee pot. So that's exactly, we, we all go there every single morning, right? So we're going to make sure that we see them and that we're re, we're, we are reminded to take them every single day. And keep at it. The longer you take your supplements, the more you will experience the maximum amount of support that comes over time. Um, okay, so most of you already have a doTERRA account, so I just want to kind of explain how that works. Um, we're a lot like Costco, so we're, we're basically the wellness version of Costco. So you become a wholesale customer for $35, and then you get 25% off your products for the entire year. Um, you can customize the products that you want. You don't have to... Um, you don't have to purchase every single month, but if you do, we do have a rewards program for that. Um, the best thing about starting with doTERRA is that we also have starter bundles. So if you want to get started with any of the oils or all of the oils that I was just talking about, you can buy them as a kit and get a, an even more discounted price off the wholesale price. And then you're automatically a wholesale customer. You don't have to pay that $35. It, the, the customer, the wholesale customer membership is absolutely free when you do the, um, the starter kit. So if you have any questions, please reach out to me. Um, you can find me on Facebook. Um, my business page is Simple Essentials by Kate. My Instagram is Simple Essentials by Kate. And then uh, we also have a Facebook group for wholesale customers or anyone who's interested in getting started with doTERRA, and that is the Simple Essentials community. So I hope this was helpful, and if you have any questions, please reach out to me, and I appreciate your time.